Hi, I'm Joan. Today we're going to discuss triads and inversion. A triad is a three note chord. Tri means three. Example, a tricycle. It has three wheels. Same thing here. A triad is a three chord, a three note chord. A triad in root position means the root is at the bottom. So the root is the note from which the triad gets its name. So a C triad is C, C, E, G. It's a C major chord. Okay, and uh, let's do that with our right hand. And with our one on C, three on E, five on G. Now let's move one note up to D, D, F, and A. That would make it a D minor triad. Right? Now, let's move one note up. That's an E minor triad. One note up, that's E, F major triad. One note up, that's G major. One note up, that's A minor. And then one note up, that's D minor diminished. And now we're back at the C major triad. Okay, so C, E, G, one, three, and five. Is that the only way you can play a C major chord? Or is there any other way for that matter? No, there's what we call inversions. Once you learn this, you can do this with any chord. Fingering may change with other chords, but the principle will remain the same. Okay, now what I'm going to do is break up the C major chord, C, E, G. Now I'm going to move my one up to E and my two up to G and then place my five on C. Now, is that still a C major chord? You bet. So here we have C, E, G, and C. Okay, now I'm practice going back and forth between both of those, C, E, G, E, G, C. C, E, G, E, G, C. C, E, G, E, G, C. This is what we call first inversion right here. You can even practice going back and forth with block chords. So C, E, G, one, three, five, and then it changes to one, two, five. So what about second inversion? Since that's first inversion, here's root, first inversion. Now we'll just move our one up to G, our three up to C, and our five up to E. Okay, let's practice going from root to first inversion to second inversion, block chords. Okay, so now let's break the chords up. Okay, so this is root. First inversion, second inversion. So now let's break those chords going all the way up. Okay, now can we go back to root? Sure, you can keep going all the way up the keyboard if you like. Now, not that fast. And it just repeats itself. So after you master, okay, root, one, three, five, and then you're going to go to first inversion right there, one, two, five. Now you're going to go to second inversion, one, three, five. Now back to root, first inversion, second inversion, root. So practice going, back, you know, from root position. First inversion, second inversion, root. And just for fun, practice going backwards. You know, root, second inversion, first inversion, root. And then try breaking it up, going down. Okay, so there you have it triads and inversions. Now that would work the same way. Let's say you wanted to do F major, right? 
Okay, so here's the root chord, F major right here. Okay, here's the first inversion, because we just move our one up to A, our two to C, and our five up to F. First inversion. Now we're gonna do second inversion. So we're gonna put our one on C, our three on F, and our five on A. Okay, now we wanna go back to root inversion. Well, it's not an inversion, but the root chord. So same thing. Okay, let's break it up. Let's say you want to do it uh, B flat. Now you go put your, that's your first inversion. Here's your second inversion. And now you're back to root inversion. How can you break that up? Sure. So it doesn't matter what key, as long as you learn the basics. Here's your root, first inversion, second inversion, root. As long as you get those basics down, you can apply it to any key that you learn. So there you have it, triads and inversions. Um, it works well with any key. Um, and that's all that I have for today. I hope this has helped you. If it has, just click the like and subscribe button underneath this video and I'll see you soon.